Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today I'm here to talk to you about the energy at present and I apologize if I'm looking tired or I'm yeah I'm sounding tired as well. I guess I just am tired uh, but I wanted to talk to you anyway about this energy because I think it's important and I think that many of you will be feeling um, this and I wanted to let you know that you are not the only one who is experiencing this. So you may have come out of a week or two weeks of um, a bit of irritation, like there might have been a little irritating energy. And of course, we are we are pegged by some astrological influences like Mercury retrograde, etc. and uh, Venus retrograde. And this will obviously make its own difference as well. But from an energy point of view, the way in which I can see it is that this is a great time to be able to work on things that needed to be worked on earlier in the year, like around January or towards the end of last year, things that you've been postponing. Now is a really good time to work on it, whether it's to do with electronics, or whether it's to do with taking care of your health or anything for that matter. It might include uh, changing your diet or including something in your diet or trying something new. So even though... Um, many may say that this is not a good time to start something new. It's actually a really good time to, to begin a new project, to begin something, to get your fingers dirty in something that you haven't done before. So what is it that you are afraid of doing or would like to do, but you know you have a bit of trepidation around that, and you can actually get involved in it today. So think about what that is and how it is that you can actually do that um, for those of you who are prone to procrastinating, this will come to a head. It will come to a point where you actually need to take action. It's really now is the time to take action. If you don't take action now, it's going to have consequences later on. And so if you've been procrastinating with regard to anything, I would advise you to just get on it and do what needs to be done. Today is the day to actually do that. And I'm recording this on the day of the new moon Um which is Friday the 22nd of May and um, well there's so much more that's going on okay and um, what I want to mention here is that if you are spreading fear by your thoughts by your beliefs well it's time to stop that because it's creating more harm than good and so be aware of what your beliefs are and how much of it is injected by by fear and how much of it is driven by fear are you holding a particular belief because it's based on fear, because you're afraid of something, because you're afraid of the consequences? Do you justify your beliefs uh, based on um, fear for, for you or for the, for the greater good? If it's based at all on fear, and if you are spreading information based on fear, it's actually doing more harm than good and it's really necessary to curb that right now, to nip that in the bud, to stop that, to look at it and see it for what it is. And even though you may not know the answers, it's it's okay to not know, but it's better not to send off false information. So look at it where you think you are passionate about something and where is it that you are talking about what needs to be done in a particular context, but that you are actually spreading fear in that in that way, because I think that that is one of the the energy um, themes at the moment. One of the things that we need to be aware of. I apologize if you can hear the neighbor's dog barking. <laughs> All right. Um, so yes. To, to just sum that up, it's about looking at what if what are the beliefs that we hold, where is it based on fear, and can we change our beliefs by removing the fear? And if we can remove that fear from it, what do we have left? Yes, it, maybe we are left with, I don't know, or I have no idea. And maybe that has a bit of, of fear in it as well. Maybe you're scared by that. Maybe it's not as assuring, or you lose your, your security around that, that issue. But it's better to say, I don't know, or I'm not sure, rather than to actually believe in something 
and impose your values or your belief systems on other people and insist upon something that is not true. Now these um, themes or these, um, this may relate to things uh, that are bigger themes that affect us all, um, that may actually be quite dis divisive in, in society. So think about that and think about where are you guilty as far as that is concerned. We all are and we all need to strip the fear from our conversations. We need to strip the fear from our feelings as well as from our beings because anything that is driven by fear is actually hurting us and actually um, making us regress. It's enslaving us and it's um, keeping us bound and not allowing us to flourish, not allowing us to move. And this new moon here, this energy is very much about movement. It's very much about changing. It's very much about transformation. And it's very much about embracing that and, and doing so quickly, not, not doing so, you know, in a dilly-dallying kind of fashion where you're thinking about it too much. It's about taking action quite quickly. And it's about looking at things and and dicing them up and seeing what it's made of and what it's worth and what is that the consequence of you saying something so it's very much about speech it's very much about you know what you've said what you've communicated to people and how is that impacting them how is that impacting you and how is that um helping us in this world at this moment so um well, that is one of the issues, you know, how is it that we are spreading fear? Or how is it that we embracing fear as um, a modality of life? And you can't actually do that. You need to actually embrace life. You need to embrace the fire that's breathing within you. You need to be able to go inside and, and be in touch with your soul, with your with your spirit and and ask it to lead you and not be grasping onto what people tell you, what is believed to be the truth and and how to go up and you know and and believing that and going about your life with that and then sharing that truth with other people so i feel like i've labored on about this point but it's such an important point because everywhere i look people are constantly spreading fear and it's to the detriment of everyone and they think they're doing something good they think that it's good to tell people these things and it's not it's actually harming every single one of us. So it's not to say that you should live in in uh, um, some kind of delusional world. It's just to say, well, you know, to strip whatever facts that you have, uh, strip it from the fear, all uh, right, uh, or present the facts as facts and not as, well, based on fear. Based on love, based on love, that's the way to go. So you actually put forth your ideas from a space of love, from a space of care, from a space of actually wanting to help society. And um, yeah, so that leads me to the next point, which is basically, we're going to be changing, uh, it's like we're changing masks, or we're changing our uniform, we actually are going to be uh, moving in a particular manner, which is more constructive behavior, we are breaking away any kind of destructive behavior that we have so look at your behavior look at your life look at look at look back at the last decade of your life and see where you may have behaved in a destructive manner towards other people towards your things towards yourself and see if you could weed out that destructive behavior identify what is destructive behavior and then weed it out from your system and don't be emotional about it be very clinical in the way in which you go about doing it because what you're actually wanting to do is be more constructive and you want to build up your life and you want to create something that's good for yourself as well as for everyone else around us. That is the, um, the, the motive for most people. That is what most people want in their lives um, as, unless you're pure evil, in which case you want something else. Um, but basically, we want to all be developing and helping each other and creating a, a better life for us all. And the way in which you do that is to weed out any destructive tendencies that you may have or anything that may make you um, regress, anything that may make you go backwards, anything that may make you stand still and not take action uh, or be a deer in headlights. You know, You don't want that. You want to be able to remove anything 
that paralyzes you and to be able to move ahead because as I said this new moon energy is very much a moving head kind of energy so aside from that yes it's very much a transformation energy it's very much a moving ahead energy but I was going to say that aside from that um, what else are we working with whereas uh, as we come into June as we come into the next month we might find that we have a lot of things that bother us we have a lot of things that irritate us or we're not feeling as settled as we usually feel and we feel that um, a kind of agitation around us so there is there are ways in which to detach from this emotion and to basically you know get within oneself I would suggest grounding yourself I would suggest taking baths perhaps in mustard seeds or like in salt and uh, to be able to ground yourself I'll simply go out and walk on the grass, you know, that you can't imagine with barefoot. <laughs> you can't imagine the impact that that has and how impact, how beneficial it is for one, for those of you who don't do this on a regular basis. For those of you who are seasoned grass, uh, barefoot walking people in the grass and hugging trees, etc., you would need to do something that's more, um, that's taking you deeper, a meditation, is also good at this time I think meditation is one thing that's going to help a lot of people if you can do it and if you feel inclined to doing doing it because it's going to allow you to be grounded and to detach from all this agitation all this energy that's pulling you in different directions um, the other thing is that a lot of you may be uh, either working with love energy at the moment or working with something with career money money energy so those things may be at the forefront of your if you're thinking at the moment um if you've been very caught up in love like if you've been down this twin flame route and you've been um bogged down with that or you've been you know you've been allowing that to distract you for the last few years you will most likely find yourself thinking very much about your career, about money, about your finances, just in general, about your path ahead very much. And for those of you who haven't been bogged down with that, you will find yourself looking at old love and the significance of it and looking at whether it's time to patch up things or whether it's time to just go ahead. So you might be thinking a lot about somebody from the past or somebody who was quite influential in your life in the past or somebody that you think about that you haven't seen for a long time uh, but as far as the career stuff is concerned I think that you know it's it's a really important time now to be able to think about what is what is essential for you what is it that you truly need what are the basics that you need in your life to be happy and to be okay and where is it that you have that you can uh, slimline your expenses where is it that you can cut down on things where is it that you can um, contract in terms of your expenses and look at ways in which you can expand in terms of your financial financial well-being or in terms of your career I feel like into like what it what it asks for this energy asks for you to contract your expenses to expand your financial um um, your income but also but to streamline your career so it's not asking you to put your fingers in too many jars and moving and working with too many things at the moment it's saying go in one direction choose one thing that you're going to focus on and let everything else fall behind that um, not to say that you're not taking care of those things but let one thing be the priority and move with that because this energy supports that this energy whereas it may seem that it supports having your hands in many jars it doesn't it actually is going to keep you flustered it's going to keep you in a state of anxiety it's going to let you feel more insecure about yourself because you are dealing with too many things and it's a very um, jittery energy so it kind of makes you um, feel like you just don't you can't you're not successful at anything or you're just not able to to be to manage anything but in fact that's not the truth the truth is that if you manage this energy by streamlining and by focusing on one thing and putting all your energy behind that and prioritizing you're going to make a lot of um, um, a, a lot of progress with that and then er, that energy is going to kind of trickle down and make progress with other things 
that you that are also important but that you have not prioritized um, that are in the background. So try to use the next month, I would say the next five weeks in this particular way. And then after that, we come into uh, July, we, we come into the eclipse season again. Um, well, yeah, we come quite soon into the eclipse season again. And then we have um, another energy forecast to talk about that because it's just too much, I think, for for, for for this time and it's not something that you need to think so much about right now because right now it's very much about uh, scrambling it's scrambling to get together the last bits before that eclipse energy and I also think that you know in the last few months I've been talking about how this is a fantastic time to heal and great time to to make uh, like great progress in terms of your wealth and I mean your health sorry, your health. Well, now is the time to make great progress in terms of your wealth. And also, um, uh, it's still time to actually work with healing. It's still time to be able to uh, harness that energy and work with it. Although we're coming to the end of it. So I would say, you know, if you've been procrastinating as far as healing is concerned, working with yourself, working with your body, um, sending healing out into the world, then go ahead now, use the next few weeks to do that and uh, focus very much on that because it's going to have huge benefit for not just yourself but for everyone else as well. And I think that is, it's going to be marvelous, you know, if you can actually spend these next few weeks meditating, healing, working um, with energy, it's going to be absolutely fantastic for everyone concerned, including yourself. And so, um, yeah, that, that, those are the things that I think are important to think about um, in terms of this month, you know, not to allow yourself to get too flustered, not to allow yourself to give into anxiety. Just basically focus on where it is that you need to take care of yourself and and prioritize and work with this healing energy because it's it's the last bit of it, right? And then we move into a whole new season. We have this eclipse season and then the energy of the second half of the year, like from August, September onward is very different, very, very different from the first half of this year. And so, you know, whatever you've been working on, it's time to kind of, um, from a healing point of view, I mean, it's time to kind of bring that to closure, bring that to, to the end, bring it to a natural, graceful ending and uh, allow it to sit there because the work that you've done for the first part of this year is actually going to benefit you for like another decade. It's going to be quite impactful and it's going to help a lot of people in the process because when you're healing your, yourself and you're working with yourself, it definitely works It works with everyone else as well. So um, it helps everyone else. We are all part of one. So when we work with ourselves, we are actually helping everyone else in, in that process, even though you might not be able to measure that or feel that or see that directly, it is uh, actually happening. So um, I hope that you've gotten something out of this energy forecast. I hope that you actually are able to benefit from the next from the energy as the weeks go ahead, and I hope that uh, you make the both the most of it and you actually you know you can enjoy this the time as you go ahead i am wishing you a lot of love and uh, please stay safe be healthy and blessings abound from kismet rising <laughs>